Hello and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number 77 in my How to Survive and Thrive series. And in today's episode, whoa, oh, pardon me. Still have my night mask on. Sorry about that, I just, just rolled out of bed and I guess I forgot to take it off, but... Well, now you know my secret to my lovely, pink, clear, glowing complexion. I mean, have you ever seen skin so clean? Look at that, look at the pores, there's not a speck of dirt in there. Although I do have to shave. Anyway, that's my secret. It's out. You just fill up a, a wither skeleton skull with some mud, put it on your head overnight, and uh, you get nice, clean skin like like me. All right, let's get on with the show here. So, episode 77, we are going to craft nether brick. We're going to actually smelt down nether rack from the nether in a furnace, and that's going to give us a new item called nether bricks, and then we're going to use that nether brick to make an old item called, well... Another brick. Yeah, confusing, I know. But uh, don't be alarmed, Dusk. It's all under control. Who are you? Uh, Sammy. Come on along, I'll explain everything. In fact, we're going to go over here towards Tower of Power because I have a project that's going to uh, entail using more nether brick. And as you can see, Tower of Power is indeed constructed of nether, nether brick. And why don't we go ahead and put our skull over here. And then, let's work our way over to the work area. So now, this map goes back to Minecraft 1.0.0. Back to 2011, right after Minecon, in fact, is when I started this. And um, I have been hopping like a little bunny rabbit to get up to Tower of Power since then. So yeah, like it's like two years. And I've seen plenty of comments. Um, well, mostly requests. <laughs> they say, hey, make some stairs to Tower of Power. Stop hopping like a bunny. And I, I have to agree. So that's going to be part of the project today. This shouldn't be a very long episode, in fact. But I did want to show you how now to make nether brick. So here's the nether brick that I actually went to the nether and I had to dismantle a nether fortress for. Now, we've done all this in a prior episode. And that tutorial was about nether fortresses. And if you recall, a nether fortress is a... Um, it's a, a structure that generates naturally in the nether, and they're few and far between. And of course, you can go and dismantle them and take the nether brick yourself, and you'll you'll burn through lots of picks. It's going to take a lot of time. And the saddest part about it is, it's kind of like going to, I don't know, it's like me going to Greece and finding an old temple ruin with marble in it. And then breaking it down for the marble, and then using that marble to make myself a, a nice... Uh, marble countertop and cozy cottage for my kitchen. Yeah, it's <laughs> it just doesn't seem right, does it? So what we're going to do is, or what they did at Mojang, they said, hey, why don't we make it real easy for people to get nether brick? So rather than having to dismantle historical buildings or ancient ruins, we're going to allow them to cook up netherrack and make, make nether brick. So I'm going to show you how to do this right now. We're going to throw some coal in here, netherrack in the furnace, and this is going to smelt the netherrack down into bricks. So while that's cooking, why don't we throw um, some coal in there. It's not really very evenly divided, is it? Well, I think what I'm going to do is actually make another one. Let's make another furnace. We'll get four finances going all at once. I love that new painting feature. It's the crafting painting feature. Let's grab some of these. We'll grab some of those. So essentially, you um, you will practically never run out now of nether brick because you're not going to run out of nether rack. The nether is full of it, and it is practically infinite. And if you need it, you just go over there, mine some. It's real easy to mine. Uh, it's a lot quicker than mining nether uh, nether brick from fortresses. And again, you won't have the the historical uh, preservation society knocking on your door with a couple of cops looking to take you in or charge you big fines for busting down ancient ruins um, <laughs> or worlds, wonders of the world. Okay, so now that we have our nether brick, as you can see here, these are just cooking up the nether bricks into this item. This is an item. Nether brick is an item. It is not a building block. You can't place it. You can't do anything with it other than uh, craft with it. So why don't we go ahead and put it in our crafting table here. It's four arranged like so, and you get Voila, nether brick. So, four nether bricks make a nether brick. Right. So, there we go. 
<clears throat> excuse me. I'm just going to grab a whole bunch of these. And we're going to make up a whole bunch more while those cook up. And of course, and this is just a refresher because I do believe I've gone over this before. But let's just break those down. We have our nether bricks. We can make nether brick slabs. We can make nether brick stairs, which we're going to need a lot of, in fact. And we can also make nether brick fences, which I don't think I'm going to need here. I don't think I'm going to use fences in this build. But uh, I am going to need some stairs, of course, to get up and down. Up and down the bunny trail. So yeah, this dirt is ancient. This dirt is old as Greek temples, maybe even older. And so while that stuff is a cooking, let's go right ahead and get started on this project. By the way, I spent 24 levels and my last three diamonds to get a pickaxe. I was hoping to get fortune um, so that I could get more nether quartz for mining. But I ended up getting silk touch instead. Oh, play the violins, right? So sad. Yeah, I got pretty lucky with that one. Efficiency 3, Unbreaking 3, and Silk Touch. So, unfortunately, I didn't get the Fortune, but this is going to open up an opportunity for us um, to get down. We're going to go to, uh, we're going to go find a Mushroom Biome. And we're going to use the Silk Touch to bring back some Mycelium. That's what we're going to do. Not today, but pretty soon. Because I'd like to finish up my little, my little uh, giant mushroom village over there. But first, we need a proper, ooh, that ain't proper, proper stair all the way up here. So I'm wondering how far we should go down with this. Um, let's just go all the way down to that shelf right there where, the, where all that cooking business is going on. I think that would be a fair spot. And we could, let's see, let's make it a little straight. I don't think I want any straightaways. I think I'm going to make it go all the way down. And then we'll have a platform here, maybe, and then maybe a way down. By the way, did you notice? I finished the bacon beacon. I went back to uh, to the nether. Not only did I get that lovely, my face mask, my night mask, for my keeping my fair complexion, but also to get more uh, nether quartz, or pop rocks as they are. And then I made up some new stairs, so voila! Pretty cool. Um... So let's just let's just continue doing stairs here. I wonder how much. Well, all right. I guess that's enough. What do you think? All right. Well, I guess we can make a walk here. I haven't really put much thought into this, honestly, and I suppose you can tell. Um, well, let's do that, and then that. And then, Arf, to you too, buddy. Um, stairs. And then I'll probably clear all this out. I think what I'll do is make a, like I said, I'll have a, a nether, nether brick platform here. And then I might have a road going down there. I don't know if it's going to be nether rack, uh, nether brick. And then maybe another path leading down to my dock. So that, that is something I want to think about. But for now, we will at least finish this. And I've got a lot. Look at this. Literally are never going to run out of this stuff, which is just awesome. I don't think I need any more stairs, but that ought to do. Okay, yeah, it's just going to be a single wide stair. No need to get too fancy here. And I think I'll put this along the sides. go and boom and I also have an idea whoops like a step there I have an idea to um, light this walkway up using daylight sensors which is something new too it's, so it's basically like a solar panel and I think I want to do that in in a future episode pretty soon I should probably get rid of this junk but I don't think I want to do it in this one. I prefer to keep my tutorials focused on one, on uh, you know, one concept or one new item, if you knows what it means. So, and today it is nether brick, smelting netherrack. So, 
Oh, and uh, how to keep your face beautiful and shining. Like mine. Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, it's getting night already. What do you know? Now here... This could be interesting. Um, should I make... I guess I can make a fence here. That's a little strange. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need that there. Just do that. Maybe I'll have a single walk all the way down here. So we'll have the double down to this portion. A double down. And then a single down from here on out. Okay, we could do that. I think we could do that. Maybe put slabs here or something. I do have some slabs. So yeah, this project has only been... Um, talked about for the last two years so I hope everyone's happy now that it's just about done so there it is we have our stair and again I'm gonna put some lighting in here I'm thinking of and I'll and I'll I guess I'll give you the teaser uh, redstone lamps with daylight sensors and an inverse an inverter and you'll see how all that works um you know I guess I could put a fence maybe I could put a fence here if I put the fence here I might not be able to put the Let's just see how that looks. So keep the bad guys off, right? Well, maybe not entirely. Because they can jump over that. But I suppose I could put... I could do this. But I might not like the double high. I don't think I like the double high. Let's see. Certainly safer. Safety is good. All right. But it's just a little high, higher than I would like. So I'm going to take that down. So let's take the middle connector pieces off. And I think that looks okay. All right. There we go. There we go. And there, and there. And I'll need more. I'm going to need a lot more. So we're going to go get some more netherrack. I have plenty. I've got plenty of coal. So let me go do that. I'll be back. We'll finish up this project and maybe I'll make a little um I'm going to make a little platform here. So stay tuned. I'll be right back. All right. I am back. And I have replaced the half slabs with full blocks here so that I can put fence on them properly. And there we go. And I'll put a little fence here. And I moved all the stoves over because they were kind of in the way. Because this is where the platform is going to go, right? So let's um, let's get started on the platform. Oh, and I'm going to get some glowstone. I think I might put some glowstone on the bottom of this platform. But let's just get an idea of how this is going to look. I'm thinking maybe... Uh, this is all going to be nether brick right here. And I'll, I, th I think what I'll do is I'll fence it in. Although I might have glowstone in here somewhere. So, hey, bait it! Sammy. Now, I let you guys up to run around, so don't make me regret that decision. Uh, you will be buried alive. Come on over here. Quick, treat. Good girl. Sit, stay. And let's see. Yeah, I gotta go get some glowstone. I think... Think. Well, I know I definitely have some up here. I took some back from uh, my last trip to the nether, but... All right, let's grab all these brick. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, but you will sometimes get experience from there, too. Not a lot. You know where you get a lot of experience is... Um, nether Quartz. My gosh. So I spent 24 levels getting this pick. And then I went down to the nether and I actually used this iron pickaxe to get a couple of stacks worth of nether quartz. And I'm back up to level 24. Well, I did kill some blazes. All right. I, yes, I did. I did kill... Um, wait a minute. Am I going to need all that? I killed some blazes. I killed the... Uh, yeah, I'm going to need a few more. The wither skeletons, too. So that... Yeah. All right. That added a little bit to it. But most of those levels came from the fact that I was uh, mining nether quartz. 
Oops, I just locked myself in. No good. All right, because I want this to go down here. And I suppose I'll put stairs. Whoa. Long fold. Right there. And I'll have to level all this. Ha! There's one in every crowd, you know. Um, there we go. I'll level this off. Excuse, flower. In fact, I'll just take you guys. All right, let me go get some glowstone. I think we're going to put glowstone here. The lighting as far as um, along the stairs goes, that, like I said, is going to be in a future episode. And we're going to do... Uh... Well, let's try it out. I'm going to use redstone lamps. Oh, that's so nice. It's only been two years of hopping like a gosh darn bunny wabbit. Uh, glowstone. I don't think I have very much here, but let's go see. Um, oh, that's not enough. I I know I grabbed some in the nether. I must have left it down at Cozy Cottage. All right, let, let me let me go fetch that. Whoa, buddy. I got to get through here, man. Eggy. Go. Turn around. Walk away. Or else. Thank you. Tougher than I look, ain't I? All right, now. Whee! Okay, back. One, two, three... Uh, eat a chicken. No, 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 no. You want some? It is tasty. Oh, bless you! Sammy! That wasn't very ladylike, now was it? Okay, so what do you say? That ain't too bad, man. Alright. And then... I wasn't talking to you, cat. The cat's so critical. So hard to please that cat. Whoa! And I'm on speed! Look at that. Meow! Rawr. Nice. Iggy. Yes. You keep the bad guys out. Uh, you do not keep the good guys in. Just just thought of that. See, I think that's his problem. He gets, he gets confused. Okay. Uh, I think we're done. I think we're done for now. So that's nether brick and nether brick. And how to smelt nether rack. And I'm just going to do a little cleanup work here. And... Uh, we're done. Okay, before I let you go, let me just show you the last couple of little tweaks I made. I um, I reoriented the railing on the side here, opened it up a little bit more, put stairs there with the two solid blocks on the side. Hey, get away from my sacred bacon! Get away from the bacon! My bacon! Watch out, cat! And uh, just opened it up a little bit more. So I think what I'll do in the future is on this side, I'll put nether brick stairs going down to about there. Then I'll have a path going down to Cozy Cottage and a path going, potentially a path going to the Beacon Bacon. And then I'll have the same thing come out here, a little... Oh, you came all the way up here, thank you! That was kind of you. Oh, so polite. And and then a, a walk uh, with nether brick here, and then I don't know what I'm going to do all the way down to the dock. Hey, somebody left the gate open! Who was it? Which one of you? Mm-hmm. Always blame the cat. Good job, dog. Okay, I think uh, I think that's it. That's uh, not too shabby. What do you think? It's pretty good. And then, uh, like I said, the next or just an episode coming up fairly soon, we'll put the uh, we'll put redstone lamps on here and have them turn on at night with the daylight sensor. Okay, I think that's it for now. I hope you all enjoyed. I'm out of here, and uh, we'll see you next time. And don't forget to floss twice a day. All right, bye. Okay. Oh, whoa! <laughs> I bet I jump in the water, I'll spring a leak. <laughs> All right, let's...